Season two is officially here. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna give you guys the updated best drill moves for all builds in NBA 2K24. I'm also gonna be giving you guys a dribble tutorial at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. Let's get into it. If Steph scores one point, you win. Yes, just one point. That's only on prize picks. Prize picks is super easy to use. You're gonna pick any player you want, then any category you want, and then you select more or less. The more players you select, the more money you'll make. Use the link in the description and use code YOUNGDIRK. And if you deposit $100, they will give you another $100 to play with. Link in the description, do not miss out. First things first, I'm always asked my controller settings. And by the way, please drop a like on this video if you haven't already, it'll help me out a lot. You're gonna wanna put your pro stick orientation on absolute, okay? Please do this, it'll make the game a lot easier for you. Here is my build, I am now a 99 overall. I will leave the full build video in the description if you want to check it out. And if you are wondering about my badges, they're pretty much all maxed out. Well, the very important ones anyway, I'm still very happy with this build. If I do make a new one, I would upgrade my MIDI and that is about it. These are the best drill. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Do not put these on, okay, relax. I just put them on all default so I could explain each move one by one so you guys can fully understand. Make sure you pay attention. I don't want you to be a dribbling trash can. Okay, for your dribble style, if you are 6'5 to 6'9, I recently switched to Magic. That's because it has the super glitchy front cross. But I mainly play ones and twos. If you don't mainly play ones and twos, I would use LeBron or Levine or Gabby Williams. If I'm playing threes, I am using LeBron or fives, I'm using LeBron, and ones and twos, I'm using Magic Johnson. Now, if you're under 6'5", Kyrie is the best by far. It allows you to speed boost out of any move, but you do need a 90 speed with ball. If you don't have a 90 speed with ball, you're gonna use Kobe Bean Bryant. If you still don't have 88 speed with ball, then just use LeBron or Magic Johnson. And for the 6'10 and up, you're gonna use normal dribble style. If you are 6'5 to 6'9, the best signature size I'm sorry, De'Aaron Fox has that super fast front cross, Dwayne Wade, and then the one that I personally use right now is Tracy McGrady. If you are under six foot five, you guys know Steve Francis, okay? It's the best one by far. It's still the best one. It was in 23. It will be for all of 24. It is super, super glitchy. If you do not have a 95 ball handle, I know that is very, very expensive. You are going to use, where's the locked animation? Is this locked? Okay, where the heck? I should just say his name, but I gotta be... Derrick Rose. If you do not have the 95 ball control under 6'5", use Derrick Rose. And if you are 6'10 and above, you're going to want to use Yantis Antetokounmpo for your regular breakdown combo. And a lot of people don't know how to do this. It's just flicking up on your right stick without your turbo. But anyway, if you are 6'5 to 6'9", you're going to use Michael Jordan or De'Aaron Fox. My favorite is De'Aaron Fox, and this is what I personally use right now. If you are under 6'5", you're going to use Scoot. Henderson, that's what I use on my small guard. They did add Wemby if you are 6'10 and above. Let's take a look at it. I think this is super, super good, especially on a big build. So if you are 6'10 and above, Wemby's breakdown combo is the one you're going to want to use. Your aggressive breakdown combo, if you don't know how to do this, it is holding your right trigger and flicking up on your right stick. If you're 6'5 to 6'9, your best options are Kobe, De'Aaron Fox, and I personally use Ja Morant. If you're under six foot five, Kobe, Darren Fox, Scoot, and Ja Morant. They added Wemby's aggressive combo. Let's check it out. It's okay if you're 6'10 and above, you could use that, or you could use, where is it at? Or you could use, hold on, sorry, I'm an idiot. So you could, you could use Luka Doncic. For your size up escape, the most important dribble move. I'm gonna go with Durant. This is what Joe Nose uses. You can use Jimmy Butler, but the two best in my opinion are Kemba and Trey. I use Kemba Walker. If you're under 6'5", I like Kemba and Trey Young. If you are 6'10 and above, I would for sure use Durant. If your ball control isn't that high, just put on normal. For your combo moves, anything under 6'9", I would use De'Aaron Fox or Tim Hardaway. I personally use De'Aaron Fox. And if you're 6'10 and above, put on pro. For your crossovers, the best two under 6'9", by far, in my opinion, are De'Aaron Fox and John Wall because it gives you that huge cross that just launches you 
to the basket. I spam this, I personally use John Wall. But if you wanna dribble a little faster, use Trey Young, but I really think John Wall is the best by far. If you're above 6'10", they added Wembenyama's cross. Bruh, I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be super glitchy on them 6'10s and above. If you are 6'10 and above, definitely put on Wemby's crossover. The best standstill explosive behind the backs are James Harden and Jamal Murray. I personally use Jamal. The best running behind Behind the backs are Trey Young and De'Aaron Fox. If you're under six foot five, the behind the backs are the same, except you get the Curry slide, but I still think Jamal Murray and James Harden are the best. And if you're above 6'10", put on Pro. I rarely spin, but the one I am using is Durant. If you know any other ones that are good, please let me know in the comments. For your hesitation, if you're under six foot nine, you can use Kobe, Jimmy Butler, Chris Paul, and I personally use John Morant. This is the best one in my opinion. If you are 6'10 and above, you can use Pro. Your step back, this is your snatch back. This is very, very important. If you're 6'5 to 6'9, you can use Luca if you want that huge step back from last year you could use Kemba but the best by far and the one that I use in my opinion is John Wall and if you're under six foot five the two best are John Wall and Stephen Curry if you are 6'10 and above I would use Levine or Jason Tatum and for this the two best are normal and Kobe I use Kobe let's get into that dribble tutorial I'm gonna be doing this easiest to hardest and you're gonna need the easy moves to do the hard moves, so make sure you pay attention. All right, the first move we're gonna go over is your escape, a very, very important move. If the ball's in your right hand, you're gonna flick diagonal up left on your right stick while holding the right trigger. And if the ball is in your left hand, you're gonna flick up diagonal right on your right stick while holding the right trigger. Right after you flick your right stick, you're going to move and hold your left stick in that same direction to get the super fast speed boost. The next move is your snatch back, AKA your step back. You're just gonna hold the right trigger and flick down on your right stick. That is literally it, super, super easy. Then we have your standstill explosive behind the back. You're holding the right trigger the whole time. If the ball is in your left hand, you're going to flick your right stick down diagonal right. And if the ball is in your right hand, you are gonna flick your right stick down a diagonal left. The first combo that we have is your escape into your snatch back. It's very easy. You're just going to stand still. You're gonna hit your escape. And as soon as you do your escape, just flick down on your right stick. You're holding the right trigger the entire time. The next combo is the snatch into the behind the back. This is super easy. You're just standing still, holding your right trigger the whole time and you're gonna flick down and then flick down again and you'll get the snatch, then the whoop, the behind the back. This next move is one of the best moves in the game. It's the John Wall cross. Anytime I have an open lane to the basket or like an open angle to the basket, instead of just running, I will hit the John Wall cross and it'll launch me to the basket and I will get there a lot quicker. Here's how it's done. You're holding right trigger the whole time and as you are sprinting, if the ball's in your right hand, just flick your right stick up diagonal left and if the ball is in your left hand, just flick your right stick up diagonal right and that is how you do the John Wall cross. This next combo is glitchy. Joe Nose uses it all the time. It's your snatch into your LeBron dribble style cross. You're gonna hold the right trigger the entire time. Let's say the ball starts in your right hand. You're gonna flick down on your right stick to hit the snatch. Then you're going to flick and hold your left stick up diagonal right and you will get the dribble style crossover. The next combo is your behind the back spam. This is a little advanced, but I'm going to explain it as easy as I can. The way you do this is you do a hesitation and then you hit your behind the back. I want you to practice this slowly and move your way up. You're holding turbo the entire time. If the ball's in your right hand, you're going to flick your right stick right and then flick it down diagonal left. And if the ball is in your left hand, you're going to flick your right stick left and then flick Flick your right stick down diagonal right. So that is how you spam the behind the back and you just do it faster and faster and faster and then you can get it to the full spam. If you're having a hard time hitting your jump shots, I really recommend watching the video on screen. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Drop a like if you did. Go out. <laughs>